Right, morning folks, this is Duncan from eTrike.net and um, I've got a little unboxing for you here. I don't normally particularly do too many unboxing videos as such. However, we've got a couple of screens in. I've just done the one unboxing of the KT LCD 8H, which is a right mouthful. We've now got the KT LCD 3. Now, the KT LCD 3 screen is the black and white screen, and this is the screen which, or the controller, which uh, has been used in the development of the open source software over at Endless Sphere. Endless Sphere, there's a group of guys across there who are developing software which basically is to make the TSDZ2 characteristically perform more like the Bosch motors. The Bosch motors, a lot of people quite like their, the way that they deliver torque and the way that they uh, just deliver their power overall. And I know that that was one of the parameters of the development of open source software for the Tongsheng TSDZ2 was that they were going to try and make this that motor uh, deliver more like the Bosch. In order to do that, they needed a screen uh, and a controller. And the controller they chose was this one, the KT LCD3. And what you have to do with the developed software they've got is you've got to download that software onto this controller um, and then you need to connect this controller instead of the standard one which comes with the uh, TSDZ2 and you flash the motor with the software from this controller. There are some cables which you're either going to need to make or find someone who will uh, produce them for you. I know there is a company in the States apparently that makes some of these cables. I spoke to him whilst he was in a car wash, funny enough. Um, I, I actually called to his office. It came through to his mobile. He was in a car wash at the time when he came out of the car wash. I spoke to him for about 10 minutes. He did promise to get back to me with some more information uh, about those cables. He hasn't done so far, so I'm going to send um, a carrier pigeon to the car wash and see if he's stuck there or something. But hopefully we'll get some information from him soon. So what I'm going to do here is just show you what this controller actually looks like. So I'm just going to take it out of the box. And that's what... Comes out of the box. Here's our, uh, our instructions. So, again, here it is, similar to the KT LCD 8H, which is the color version of this one. And we don't know yet whether the color version is completely supported uh, by the open source software or, net, uh, or not. I'm trying to get that information. I've posted a question on Endless Sphere. Um, they're taking their time to answer it and I can't really rush them because they're doing it for free. So um, I'm waiting for an answer on that one. But here's the, uh, here's the, uh, the controller either way. So you've got, again, look, that's the same little remote controller that you've got on the um, color screen using the same one up down through the modes and uh, power on power off button um, got about what looks to me like about a meter and a half of cable should be about enough I would have thought and there's the connector there we go again these are nicely made little uh, controllers these it's a uh, they seem quality cases on them, quite like those. Um, a little slimmer in profile than the standard uh, screen or controller which comes with a TSDZ2 if you get the standard black and white version as I've got. Um, but that looks like some nifty kit. So there is what you get there. And then let's see if we can get this bag open. The last one rebelled against me. I think we're going to get exactly the same again. We've got that kind of a, a bracket which will attach nicely to a ice um, accessory bar. Again, we've talked about this on the forums. I talked about it in the last video. <coughs> you don't need the ice accessory bar. I bought two of those because I, I 
kind of didn't really think about it. Then someone came along on, on our Facebook group and said, you know what, if you use a straight bar end, um, the kind of bar end which you would put onto a, uh, a road racing bike or a triathlon bike, and basically they just it just adds a straight piece out from the out from your bars. Uh, they're about five pounds each, and they actually would perform exactly the same function. I've seen someone who's got some on his trike, and uh, they work well. So I would suggest that maybe if you were considering the uh, the ice accessory mount as I did, um, well, I mean it cost me. 75 quid plus shipping so about 80 quid which is a lot for two aluminium bars um, if I'd have known about these straight end bars I would certainly have got those for a fiver each so uh, good little tip there so that bracket there will fit perfectly with those again you've got the uh, rubber inserts here which will help you mount it on mirrors tend, tend to you know the mirrors that we put on the on, on the side of the trikes and that they tend to have quite narrow um, fixings to them and uh, I do know that I have tested it and these little rubber pieces here will correctly mount uh, a screen like this or an accessory like this to um, the small bars which are probably only about I guess they're probably about 12-15 mil so you can mount this uh, onto uh, even the smallest of mounting bars so there it is there are the instructions which come with this <clears throat> And again, it's got a, uh, a list of the various functions, an explanation of the functions right there. And that then pulls out. And we've got more there. They're complex little um, controllers, these. So there's a lot of information, and the information appears here all in English. And the English does seem like it is legible so all good i'd say with this uh, screen cost wise i think i can't remember actually what the price of this one was i think it was somewhere in the region of 30 pounds and about 41 for the the color version of this but again we don't know yet whether the color version is fully supported with the open source software or not but i will find that out and when i find it out i'll come back to you and let you know so there we go, that is the KT LCD3 e-bike display um, e-bike controller for the open source software. All right, Duncan from eTrike.net. Do not forget, please, to subscribe to us, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and you'll get all the latest videos. I post quite a few of these, as you can see. Um, Come and find us on the Facebook groups. The Facebook groups are brilliant. We've got over 300 members and some real experts on there um, for trikes, bikes, and electrified trikes, bikes, and human-powered vehicles. And um, come along to the, the blog, which is etrike.net. Uh, there we post a load of uh, articles, pictures, information, members' trikes. There's loads and loads of info there, posting on there all the time. Come along there, subscribe to the, uh, the blog if you like, and you can get all the posts in real time as I post them. All right, looking forward to seeing you around the forums. Take care. Bye-bye.